Hello, it's Ron and Sue from Ask Ron and Sue. Today we're going to have a look at performing a basic chakra balance using clear quartz. Clear quartz is a master healer, an all-round healer, and can be used to do just about anything when it comes to crystal healing. And it's excellent for performing a, a basic chakra balance. Before I get into the balance itself, I'm going to assume that you've established some place at home where you won't be disturbed for the period you're going to be doing it, say 20, 30 minutes. It's nice, quiet and restful. It could be done on a bed in the home or it could be done on the lounge, laying across a lounge or on, on the floor or in the outdoors like we're doing here today or you could lay down directly on the grass if, if that suited you. The main part is to just keep it simple and easy and that's what we'll be looking at today. All you need is seven clear quartz crystals. I'm going to assume that you've cleansed them and all you need to do is to put them in place. You start with the base chakra then you put one on the sacral chakra, which is located just below the navel, a couple of inches just below the navel. Then you place one on the solar plexus, which is located just below the bottom of the rib cage, just at the bottom of the sternum. And then one at the heart chakra, which is located over our physical heart, um, basically between the breasts. The throat chakra, I find it easier just to sit the crystal in the, in the hollow of the throat, just below the Adam's apple. One placed on the third eye, which is just above and between the eyes. And finally the crown chakra, where we just, the crown chakra is actually at the end of the head, but we just place it on the pillow at the, at the end of the head. Now with the stones in place, all that we really need to do is just to, to sit back and allow them to go about their task. One of the things I've found with clear quartz is it's very fast and efficient. And you probably find that if we were to test it, Sue's chakras would be balanced already. But it's nice just to sit back, relax, and enjoy 20-30 minutes of deep relaxation. At the end of that period, you just take the crystals off, usually in reverse order. But don't get too hung up on that. If you forget and you start at the base chakra and you're taking them off that way, that's, that's perfectly fine as well. Just try not to mix it up too much. It's better to follow some sort of sequence and form. Now, I'm just going to repeat the process because it can also be done using quartz points, natural quartz points. Now there's been a lot of argument going on for some time about whether they should be pointing down or whether they should be pointing up. My experience over oh, quite a lot of chakra balances now is that it makes really little to no difference. It becomes one of personal preference. Some people like to run the energy down the body and some people like to run the energy up the body. The most important part is that following the same rules as before, that you start at the base chakra. On this occasion, I'm just happen to be pointing them up, so they're going to be running upwards. And then you put one on the um, sacral chakra, you follow with the solar plexus, you follow with the heart, you follow with the throat chakra, you follow with the third eye and the crown chakra. Now naturally you take it a little bit slower, than I was just speeding the process up there a little bit. and. Again, you just let them stay in place, or you can mix them up. For example, if you only had six points and one tumble stone, that'd be fine. Any combination of quartz will do the job. After your 20 to 30 minutes of deep relaxation and just allowing the crystals energy to get absorbed and, and, and that through your body, you just take the crystals off. And again, just take your time about it. Now, you can have this done by a professional healer, such as myself or Sue or whoever you go to, or you can have a friend just come in and help you just by placing the stones down. But keep in mind that a lot of these instructions are about how could you do it yourself. So in this case, all you've got to do is have the crystals nearby, and as Sue's doing now, just reach over, grab a stone, and put it into position. Simple, easy, and again, just have that nice quiet, for some reason she forgot a throat chakra, don't know why that happened, but anyway, that just shows that things can happen. We're not going to edit and go back and redo this, we'll just let it run, because one of the things I've been trying to get through with all my teaching over the years is to keep things simple and easy. There's a couple of things that are really important. The first one is your intention. Now, if your intention is to achieve a healing and you've got pure, proper thoughts, that's all you've got to really worry about. The real truth is that in crystal healing, it's the crystals that are doing the work, not us. So as long as we've got them in position and we've selected the right stones and we're in the right environment, we can allow that just to be absorbed and soaked into the person 
that's achieving the, the healing. That's, that's really all that matters. So we better get these stones back off here. And then, once the stones are off, you just come to an end, bring your consciousness back into the into the area because you might find that you've drifted off and and some people even fall asleep and that's fine if you fall asleep don't worry about it, it just means you were really tired and you were in need of that rest but it's essential that you bring your consciousness back be fully aware be aware of your surroundings some people like to wriggle their toes and their fingers and just move a little bit and then quietly and gently sit up on the table now if you're working with someone or if you're on your own just be aware that sometimes these tables can be a little bit unstable so it's a good idea just to make sure that you've got it properly anchored and grounded and then sit up have a drink of water as a good idea and then move into your daily activity thank you that's it for today